Okay, so uh, if your problem is that you have open linear paths in Illustrator and you need to make them into closed paths or shapes, uh, you have a few different ways you can do that. And I've made all of my lines different colors so it's easy to see what's happening. Uh, so my first option is to use the object path join function. And so I'm gonna just select my first two lines and then I'm gonna zoom in over here so you can see. And from the main menu at the top, I can go to object path join and it connects them. Um, now if command C undo, if you're not happy with the way that they look, you can move your anchor points to be what we call coincident with each other so that they're more closely on top of each other. Um, and then once again, I can select them both. I'm holding down shift to select them both and I'm going to object path join. The shortcut for that is in a Mac is command J and on the PC is control J. So that's up here and I'll show you. I'm gonna select the two blue ones holding shift to select if I just do command J and it's going to connect whatever it sees as the closest two endpoints. So mine connected down here instead of up here. Now, if I want to tell it exactly which endpoints to connect, I'm going to hit Command Z to undo. I can use the direct select tool. That's my white arrow or the shortcut is A. And I can select two endpoints. So I'm going to press this one, then hold down Shift, select this one. And now when I do Command J, it will connect the two I told it to do. Um, and so now I can, once again, if I do here to here, command J, those are the closest. Now, once again, I have a weird overlap. So you might want to fix that undo before you make changes and you can fix it with the direct select tool shortcut a, uh, there's also a way in the menu to average the location of the endpoints, but I'm not going to show you that in this video because I think it's, uh, long enough and I'm going to zoom out. There's one other way that you can connect your uh, paths really easily, which is just pick up the pen tool. The shortcut is P. So I have that over here. Use the pen tool. So if I pick up the pen tool, shortcut is P and I click this point and then this point, it will connect them. This point, this point, it will connect them. This point, this point, it will connect them. Then I can get my selection tool, select this one, this one, green and blue, command J, it's going to join them select green and purple, command J, it's going to join them. Um, and I have one more place at the bottom I need to close so I can command J one more time. Now I have a fully closed shape. If I change it to have a purple fill, voila. And if I select all of my shapes that I want to merge and I hit Pathfinder, hey, Pathfinder, show up. Window, Pathfinder, there we go. If I select all of these, hit the first one, unite, boom, one shape. Lovely. Uh, the last thing that I didn't show you, so let me undo a few steps, was that if I have direct selected two specific points, there's an icon, looks like this, that shows up in the properties panel over here. So direct select, I'm gonna drag a box over these two endpoints, so it selects them both, and now this icon connect select to endpoints has appeared and I can click it, boom, and it connects them. So once again, that's direct select the white arrow. You can either shift select um, or you can drag a box over the two endpoints and then that button appears if they're close enough. Um, actually, I wonder if it's been updated where it appears even if they're not close. Oh, heck yeah, it does. Okay, cool. So that's how to solve that problem in Illustrator.